So guys, a couple days ago, my team introduced a new concept of my team cards. They called them the end games. This featured people like Magic Johnson and Dirk Nowitzki, who ended up being the best card in the game. Little did we know that he was only going to be the best card in the game for about four days. Now this was exactly what I feared. In my Dirk video, I said if these are the end games we're getting to start, how crazy could things really get? Well. Things got crazy, and I'm talking a lot crazier. Take a look at this 99 overall Dark Matter Endgame Wilt Chamberlain. The only man to ever score triple digits in an NBA game is now officially likely the scariest card on my team, at least on next gen. I mean, when I tell you guys what they've done to this card, it's going to be crazy. Very similar to Dirk Nowitzki and Magic Johnson. You're going to see the fact that he's got the Air Jordan dunks and a bunch of crazy SIGs. If anything, he's got the best SIGs in the game and he's standing at seven foot one. Now what's even crazier, he can play that power forward position, but for the sake of having some morality in today's video, we're going to be keeping him at that center spot. This card is currently the lock-in for the hero mural art if you guys manage to do it I think right now it's going for about 3 million MT a lot of cards are super inflated in price and that's mainly because people want this card this is probably gonna be the best lock-in we've had since Kareem Abdul-Jabbar back in 2k20 but going back to why this card has changed a lot more than Dirk and Magic let's take a look so one thing you will notice about Will Chamberlain is um He's not his usual weight. He's now at 244 pounds. That's right. 2K is adjusting the weight of players. And for those of you guys wondering why, it's because you cannot curry slide unless you're a certain weight limit. And that weight limit, they reduced them by about 40 pounds, now gives Wilt Chamberlain the ability to curry slide in the game. He is the tallest curry sliding player right now in 2K22. And of course, since he is an endgame card, everything is going to be in the 99s. Based on his player model, I believe him and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar have the fastest player models in the game, so good luck trying to guard this card. We go all the way down on the tendencies, and to no surprise, everything is on 100, just like Dirk, and just like Magic. Things get even scarier once we get to the badges, because not only does he have 80 Hall of Fame badges, but as you guys can see in the background, this card has very glitchy animations. Unlike Magic and Dirk, they gave him the Trey fadeaway. He's got the Derrick Rose size up, which is the best size up in the game. And on top of that, he's got the Luka base jumper. Now, from what people are telling me, it's not quite as glitchy of a jumper unless you've got the Luka upper, but they basically look the same. Now, I'm sure it's probably going to feel a little bit different in game. His upper right now is the Kobe, but... The fact that they threw the Luka Doncic base on Will Chamberlain, who now arguably has the best SIGs in the game, standing at seven foot one with one of the greatest player models in NBA history, it, it's just nuts. You guys can see he's got the headband. This is the Will Chamberlain that people love. Not the one with the mustache and it looks like Mario. It's the one with the headband that slept with over 20,000 women. But this Wilt is crazy, guys. There is no weaknesses. I'm scared for what we're going to be seeing on Friday, but for today, we're focused on this guy. Will he be worth locking in 3 million MT? There's only one way to find out, man. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's hop into a game and let's see what Wilt the Stilt can do for us today. Let's get into it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another HTB gameplay. Y'all can see Taco Fall is my matchup for today, and I'm going to be honest, he's not going to be able to guard me. Look at this. Boom. Curry side. One little behind the back, and we're already gone to the basket. His player model is just too fast, and there's the easy dunk. We haven't had headband wilts in my team for a good while, man. Let's get hoopy. Game is definitely playing a little bit funky right now, but nothing I'm too worried about. Low behind the back there. Let's get Taco doing some cardio, man. Getting open, catch and shoot. No contest right there, and it's going down. I thought LeBron got there on time, but I guess not. Nah, this Luka jumper might be broken. I want to see if I can play the pick and roll with Will. Look at this. He's literally my point guard. Curry side. See you later, Taco. Bang. Oh, you're going to have to on-ball him. Eight easy points for Will to start the game, and that was almost a steal. All right, let's get the ball to Wilt and everybody get out of the way. Hit that screen. All the way to the basket. Everybody's too small, and so far, he does not know how to guard this card. While a lot of people are probably going to play him at the four because he's tall, I think he can actually be scarier with Dirk Nowitzki at the four and five because uh, good luck stopping that. Let's try to go to Wilt on the pick and fade. Hit that screen. Thank you. Dirk Nowitzki's got too much space, and I'm telling you guys, these endgame cards are a problem. The fact that I've got two of them on the court right now, I had to bench Magic because it was going to be too much. Good defense there by Dirk. Look at the team hustling on the rebounds. Get down the court. 
He's reaching too much. Stop and boom. Swing it. Dirk Nowitzki's got too much space. And that's another easy dime. This is an unstoppable front court duo, man. Good defense there by Wilts. Get the ball up the court ASAP. He's going to get open at some point. Catch. Pump fake. Thank you. Drive one way. Low. Behind the back. We're gone to the basket. Look at the Michael Jordan cradle dunk. I got to go for one air Jordan. It's going to look so funny. Get there. Good defense there by Dirk. Our whole team's really locking it up right now. One behind the back. Thonmaker. Dimers. Easy three. Our offense is flowing. Wilt has basically been my point guard. Bit of a slower second quarter here, but you guys can see we've just got so many weapons on the floor that it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Right to Wilt. Catch and shoot. Easy greens. He's going to be one of the best pick and poppers in the game. I do think Dirk's jumper is a bit scarier, though. My team is starting to fold just a little bit. Hit that screen. Magic Johnson open for three. That's going to be an instant bucket. You really got to pick your poison when it comes to these end game cards. How are we going to cook this? Hit that screen. Thank you. Right to Wilt. Catch and shoot. He's very exhausted, but the three still going down. Our offense is there. Like, we're going to score every possession. Push the pace, baby. That's you. One more swing. Why would you step in for the mid-range? I don't know, but I'll take the bucket. 22, 7, and 6. Make him hit that screen. One little behind the back. All the way to the basket. Throw that missile. Hakeem Olajuwon steps in for a two as well. And that's another bucket. Good. Defense there by Will Dirk. I need you on those rebounds. Come on. Get up the court. One little behind the back. All the way through. And he loves the cradle dunks, man. I've been trying to go for a leaner with Trey, but he's going over those screens like crazy. Yeah, well, switch on defense. Show him that we can guard all five positions. Thon Maker with a big time block. Let's go right into that pick and fade. I know he's gonna try to go over. He doesn't. Wilt, pump fake. He bites on it all the way through. Hey, we gotta draw a foul there next time. Give me my and one, ref. All right, man. So GG's to my opponent here. Although I don't feel like I got enough out of Wilt Chamberlain in this game, so we're gonna jump right into game number two. Jumping into game number two here, I'm surprised to still see Porzingis on people's teams, but he does have the invincible Giannis, so I'll respect him. Either way, commit that screen. Thank you. Curry side. Too much space there, and there's the green, man. I got to do at least one leaner with this card because that's what's super broken about him. Let me put this Chris Tass Porzingis into an ISO. Look at that. A little burst right there with the Derrick Rose. Hey! Uh, easy dunk. Good defense. Good defense. Make him throw it inside. Indeed, he does. Go right to Will. This court is so blue. Here comes the leaner. Not a green, but it's not a bucket. I don't know how to time it very well. I'm going to be honest. Give me a little ISO right here. I'm trying to move with Wilt, but it definitely feels funky at times. Burst out of there. Curry side. Bye bye <laughs> bye bye That's another three. Let's go. He's sending a couple double teams, so I got to get the ball out of Wilt's hands. Catch. Pump fake. Drive one way. Curry side. Too much space. And that's another green. 22% contested. Well, um, that was pretty short-lived. I'm gonna try to hop into one more game because I want to get a leaner off. Game number three up against Sabonis. Let's make this man work. Burst out of that. Thank you. Snatch back. Driving through into that leaner and he goes into whatever animation that was and still knocks down the three. I just gotta get one leaner off, man. I need Luka Doncic to stay out of my way. Burst out of that. Look at that Derrick Rose, man. All the way through. I'm a big man. Hey! Come on, Wilt. One little behind the back. Thank you. Curry side. Oh, he's behind me. I gotta just shoot that. I don't even have to green any of my shots. A lot of these super fast jumpers, though, my reaction time, it's not working very well today. This guy had a good starting lineup, and then he brings out Zion. Are you trolling? That's another easy three. This man is seven foot one. Luka Doncic with that jumper. Where we're we going here, man. One swing. Right to Dirk. Out to Wilt. Catch and shoot. Dimer me, mama. What are we doing here, Wilt? Hit that screen. Low burst. All the way to the basket. They cannot keep up with him. And that's an e another easy dunk. When I'm not exhausted, the burst on this card is actually crazy. Look at that. It goes so quickly. Throw the missile. Thon Maker's open for three. And that's another bucket. One thing I will say, though, and I'm not sure if it's because of his size or whatever, but I feel like Dirk Nowitzki moves just a little bit better. A little ISO right here. From here, Mike Miller. I got you. Don't worry. Toss him up. Curry side. Pull in his face. And that's an automatic green. You have to on-ball a card with this kind of jumper. I need a quick screen right here. If anyone's going to shoot a leaner, it looks like it's going to be Danny Granger, and that's an easy green. I can't get one off with Wilt. I keep trying. Give me that. Good defense. Where are we going here, Wilt? Catch and shoot. Not a green, but it's a bucket. as 27, baby. I'm going to be honest, though, guys. These cards really are way too OP. Snatch back into an open three once again, and 
it just makes life too easy. I got a feeling that 2K is gonna die a little sooner than usual because of cards like this. Like, we've already got like, what, three end game cards and we're not even into the final season yet, so it can get really bad. It's just so effortless trying to score with these, especially when people off ball. Look at that, another open three there, and that's another green. I don't even have to worry about that leaner because that shot's fallen. Give me that, look at Will Chamberlain. All the way to the basket, showing no remorse. He's got 37. I'm gonna be honest, the rest of this game is fairly boring. It's almost too easy to score with this card. You got that nice little burst that he's gonna have every single time somebody tries to, you know, off ball you. Where you at, Wilt? Catch. Pump Vic, thank you. Drive one way. Curry side, where are you going, Zion? Just <laughs> hold that and say goodnight. Okay, so that right there was an extremely boring game, but I think I've seen what I've needed to see from this Wilt. Let's talk about him. All right, guys, so that right there was the end game Wilt Chamberlain debut, and as most of you guys can tell, to no surprise, he dominated. Wilt Chamberlain usually is already just a good card as it is, but when you modify him to be the monster or Frankenstein that this card is now, it's just ridiculous. At this point in the year, you're not even really looking for the name of the player that's gonna drop, you're looking for the player model. And conveniently, not only does Wilt Chamberlain carry that name, but his player model is out of this world, especially because it's the headband one, and on top of that, he's got an eight foot wingspan span which is I think the longest wingspan on a player in the game so he's gonna cause problems and the crazy thing is I didn't really use him to his full potential there's a lot of you guys out there that are a little bit better at dribbling and going to the crazy moves than I am I just know that I can curry slide into an open three basically every single time once you guys know how to use the Derrick Rose size up and that Trey leaner which honestly I wasn't too hot on because I could not hit one for the life of me but nonetheless man this card really is unstoppable now can I say he's the best card in the game I would not argue you if you said that but in my opinion I think Dirk Nowitzki is a bit more of an annoying card to guard mainly because he's just easier to score with without having to put in much effort Will Chamberlain to somebody that can dribble is definitely gonna be very tough to stop but Dirk Nowitzki all I gotta do is one snatch back and I'm open for a three every single time unless you switch on and user me on the defensive end but Wilt in my opinion I think he's gonna be worth the lock-in not even for just the card but on top of that you do get the 80 hall of fame badges a thousand tokens 65 diamond shoes and you can use that in some way shape or form to either get a new invincible or end game card in the next season with the tokens or you can put those 80 hall of fame badges on some kind of card and cash out on a little bit of mt but uh yeah wilt alongside dirk magic johnson i would have an absolute headache trying to guard a lineup of just those three on a starting five for 20 minutes and there's more end game cards to come later this week I'm guessing we probably see a LeBron James or a Kobe Bryant, but nonetheless, man, that right there was the Wilt debut. That's going to do it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like. And for you new viewers, don't forget to hit that subscribe button on that grind to 400K. You guys have been going crazy with the love. I really appreciate it and take care.